Hello folks and welcome to uh, Linux for Seniors. So in today's video I'm going to be talking about the Manjaro Plasma desktop version 5.2, 5 uh, the latest version for March of 2023. How would you like to uh, add some keyboard shortcuts, a single key to do a function and or launch a application or a program? So some examples are I don't have a dedicated power key on my keyboard so I assigned this to one key so I'm depressing the one key right now and it does that. You also have the same function already built into your Plasma desktop, but it requires entering three keys and normally requires two hands. Control, hold it down, Alt, hold it down, and press the delete key it does the same function. So if you don't have a dedicated calculator key on your keyboard, you can also assign that to some other key on your keyboard for a one to press to, act, to uh, run the program. And I also have an example of an application. In this case, it happens to be GIMP for one key assignment. Uh, you can make your favorite app, in other words, this way. GIMP is like Photoshop, if you did not know. So anyways, if you are wanting to uh, know how to do any of that kind of stuff and don't know how, then uh, continue watching. Now, I do I encourage that you subscribe. It's a lot easier to start and stop my videos and none of my videos on my new YouTube site, uh, Linux for Seniors, is under two minutes. Every video that I do have, though, has chapters or timelines. So if you don't want to become a subscriber, you can also bookmark this and then watch part of the video and hit stop and take a look at that timeline and handwrite the number down. You can also watch any YouTube video, including mine, on your smart TVs. If you have the YouTube app, just look up the Linux for Seniors in the search field. Anyways, folks, let me uh, move on and talk about these keys. So we're going to talk about system settings. I also am going to advocate screenshots. Um, I'll only talk about this once. Uh, you don't have to make screenshots, but it's always a good idea. What am I going to do is I also have large icons turned on. So I'm going to go to configure wallpaper and just point out the fact that I'm using very large icons for the desktop and also very large icons for my file manager. Those you can resize on the fly. I'll show that feature in a second if you haven't seen it yet. So let's go open, not the file manager, apologize, system settings. So if you're looking for this, um, how to assign your shortcuts, you can either use the search feature and type in key and uh, just click shortcuts. If you're coming in from a fresh screen like this, then you can also scroll to the workspace section and look for shortcuts here. So my application GIMP, uh, GIMP is like Photoshop, is located right here and uh, I made a shortcut with F7. I'll show you how to do this in a second. The session management is under your logout and this is normally not assigned. This is how yours will more likely look. I'll also talk about this for more of the advanced users a little bit later. So let me talk, it just exports um, whatever you got highlighted. Um, I'll, I'll show that in a little bit. Anyways, let's move on. So session management, you have the standard one. Control, Alt, and Alt. Now I suggest you leave that. That would be pressing three keys. But I'm going to add a shortcut here. And sometimes you don't want certain shortcuts. Like if I put F11, for instance, it will take it. So if I were to click that, sorry, it has to say input first. F11, it will take it if you hit apply. However, I'm going to suggest you don't use that. Here's the reason why. I'm going to open up a web browser. This is Firefox. I'm going to press F11. It makes this full screen and reduces that. Now I'm going to open up uh, Chromium and you'll see the word uh, full size, F11. That's why I don't suggest F11. However, you can add that shortcut. Some of the other ones too may be assigned by the system. Like right there is telling me that F10 is already assigned to file creation, which is create folder. So you don't want to use that one either. That's why I chose F12. It's a convenient key, and more importantly, it's open. So I'm going to hit Apply, and that's how I sign that. Now, if you need to uh, assign an application that's not in this menu, let's go find something in my menu. So we will talk about, uh, how about this card game, for instance. So go to Add Application. Go and uh, find your game. It's that one, and hit OK. And uh, once it's here, it's highlighted, add custom shortcut. So I'm going to, um, I have one key in mind, F9, apply, F9 opens the card game. 
that one's done. So I have another one that I can't see in this menu and you can also try to search for it, but I know it's not there. So I am going to do a multimedia player, this rhythm box thing. Same deal, add multimedia rhythm box, enter, add custom shortcut. And uh, let me try the F8 key and there we have it and hit apply and test it out. And my music player opens. Okay, so now that uh, you've seen examples of this, uh, you could do manual screenshots this way. I have the tool already, so I'm going to unpin it. And uh, so what you're looking for for the screenshot tool is you can type in SCR. There's also a different way using a keyboard command, but I can right click and pin it to the taskbar. So I can uh, find it right here. And uh, normally it takes a full screenshot immediately, even though you have this set and you can just save it as. So I'm going to leave that for a second, even though that says active window, I can still see there's a full screenshot here. So I'm going to actually save these to my desktop because I'm going to do a file comparison. Now I'm going to use active window and take the screenshot before I hit the save button. This way it takes a picture of just this box. It never takes a picture of the tool. And I'm going to save that and put it to the same place. And then we're going to compare the two. So I'm going to open up the first one. You can clearly see that this is the box. Um, if this is uh, too small for you, I'll scroll up a little bit and uh, walk around. And that's F8 for rhythm box. Let me scroll back out. All I'm doing here is simulating doing this, uh, which is achieved by holding down your control key with your one of your hands, I'm using my left hand to hold the control key and scrolling up and down with my mouse. All right, so in either case, let's move on and let's take a look at this one. So now I can clearly see the wallpaper in this thing, but more importantly, if I zoom in, I can see that's F8. What's the sizes? If you're worried about hard drive space, maybe you want to take a look at some of this information. That one's a lot smaller than that one. This would obviously be the full screenshot. So really, I don't need that full screenshot technically because, let's face it, I can see everything I needed in here if I was just after one function. So I'm going to get rid of that one and leave it there. Open that back up. Uh, what's the other way I've taken a screenshot? Well, let me open this back up and um, click that. And let's say I wanted a screenshot of that. If you have an insert key on your keyboard, normally found somewhere near the home key and delete in the center of your keyboard, Sometimes um, some keyboards require you to press a function key when you do this. Mine does. So I'm going to press and hold the function and insert and I get the screenshot box. And then I can follow the prompts just like I did previously. Okay, so that's one shortcut for people that have those kind of keys. So what is this uh, export scheme thing? Well, when you click that, it's going to highlight this. And you can do this by individual objects or sections. So I'm going to do this by sections and I still have more to, to do and then basically I'm going to save the scheme okay where do you want to save it to I am just going to save it to my home folder and I'm just going to call this one uh, key be, uh, keyboard shorts and I'll probably use today's date just as a convention uh, just so I have something now this file is interesting to read. Uh, some of you folks, this may not be a, your cup of tea, but I'm gonna show it anyway. So it's sitting right here. I'm gonna open this file and uh, I'm going to uh, resize the box a little bit here. So it looks kind of weird, but more importantly, these are shortcuts. So I will uh, find some of the ones that I assigned manually. Again, this is not everybody's cup of tea. And um, find some of the ones that I assigned. So here's a rhythm box and you can see it's assigned to F8, for instance. Pressing F8 does that, okay? That's just one example of using this file. And you can also use my method to scroll in and out of this also, the zoom. Again, I'm holding down the control key on my keyboard while scrolling back and forth. But more importantly, you can see that that rhythm box is assigned to F8. I'm going to close that. So again, this file is not everybody's cup of tea. Some people are more comfortable with screenshots. Hopefully you found this uh, video informative. And uh, again, I would encourage that you subscribe. If not, uh, bookmark my YouTube site.
Thank you for watching.